calendars, you know, like, <laughs> don't tell your wife you did this. I don't have one, so I don't have to worry about it. But the metal on these are really good. You don't want to use screen. You want to use a metal one. I just keep cutting the little pieces out. As you see, I got right here. What I do, I take my, uh, I take an old used one, fan housing, and uh, break it all off. Then I dremel it so it's all nice and smooth. This is what I got one going on right here. I'll make another one out of metal. I never tried one out of metal. But this is how I do it. I just take one of these, put it on the smooth side, I set it right in here. Find yourself a socket, what I find, and uh, kind of sandwich right in the middle. Get the right size that you need. I just shove it in there, kind of push it all the way up, as far as you want. You want to make it kind of because you want it to run the skirt side down. And you got your frame. Then you just take your scissors and just, uh, you know, trim off all the edges, just like that. And go all the way around. I'm not going to do this one right now. And I'm doing this one right here. What I've done is I've taken it and turned it all down. I'm going to make it look like that. And I've uh, just taken super glue and just couple of little dabs so it doesn't move around so it kind of sits right in there so it, so it, so it kind of stays in there and it's, it's fairly hard it's, it's not it, you don't want to be pushing on it <coughs> but anyway then what I'll do is I'll take a uh, good old JB weld and uh, I'm gonna do the rest of it so I guess I'm recording you know yes so I squeeze out a 50 50 50 mixture you got to use quite a bit and you get her all good and mixed up for a couple minutes. All I do concentrate on just on the inside and try to make it look fairly neat. And you can see I just kind of run it around in there. You want to kind of push it into the screen. So when it pushes into the screen it uh, will bond onto the inside of the frame. And you want to be kind of liberal with it. Or non liberal or whatever the word is. I'll tell you something, this here is cut down on the cost of replacing screen replacing fans I really am tired of replacing them just because the blades break off and the brace blade the brace blades the blade blade blades brace blades break off so anyway kind of get it all around we can go a little bit over I'm gonna grind it down anyway and then on the outside of it I don't know, sometimes I just leave it, but it usually kind of squeezes through. Because once you kind of squeeze it, you'll notice it kind of coming out through the other side. So I kind of give her a good squeeze in there. Kind of raise it up kind of high, get the your bead of uh, JB weld. you're just trying to get it you kind of squeeze it up so that you can start seeing it kind of coming up around the sides you can dabble a little on the outside but I think it makes it look more crappy then but it starts it starts kind of soaking through I think the best thing to do is when you let it dry dry it upside down so it kind of runs in that direction. And if you want, felt like putting more on, then that would be okay. If you felt it necessary. Kind of smooth it around. And like I said, it's, it's starting to come out through the cracks. And so you know when you're getting it up in there. It's getting a good bond on it. I like this little load right there. You can kind of see it's not 
you might give a little extra where I don't see it kind of coming through yeah so I can see the stuff seeping around so it's on there kind of soldering <laughs> so then uh, what I'll probably do is just let it sit there probably let it sit like this and let it uh, kind of run down on it red one <laughs> it's gonna clash <laughs> so then once you're done you put it on there and you have the your, uh, screen on top of your fan and I found these things I do buy I'm starting to buy the metal ones you wasn't I was doing the plastic ones because they break so easily the fans do but I think doing this I haven't had I don't know if I've even had broke one yet not for some time here's a uh, one of these I don't call these fans I call them a blower they just blow like crazy but these here you can just put the uh, you can put just a screen and put it on top and mash it in between like a sandwich but the thing is though when it's flat I'm looking at surface area for it to breathe so if you just have a flat as you can see on one of those other ones it uh I like that one like this one it uh you only have so much surface area for that air to come through there it's going to be restricted whereas this one here if i get that back right this one here when it's when it's in this position when it's up like this you can see much more room and volume air can flow so much more because it's domed you got so much more area for the air to flow through anyway i'll come back later Here's a pretty simple one, just a flat screen. I just put a sandwich dip between the screen and it works really well. This one here is on the X Max. I believe it's a 50 millimeter. This one here is on my Outcast. crate and these are my very first ones and I used the wrong kind of screen you can see they all kind of caps in with the wind pulling in or something <laughs>